Hey guys, this is Shannon, and on today's Magento screencast, we're going to show you how the export feature works in Magento's import and export system. Now, Magento's import export is a flexible way to manage any data going in and out of the system, allowing you to easily accomplish tasks like batch product uploads or catalog wide price changes. Now, you're going to do this by creating profiles. Now, profiles allow you to create templates for data that you're importing and exporting. There are two ways to work the profiles. You can go to the Profiles Manager under Profiles. Or for more advanced users, Advanced Profiles allow you to work directly with the XML to create import-export profiles. But we're going to use the Profile Manager today to set up our file to export. Now you'll see all of the profiles that you've created in the past here, but we're going to add a new profile. And say we're going to use this profile, this uh, this exported file to change uh, prices in our store. Um, so we're going to call this the English Store Price Management since we're managing prices in the English Store. We're dealing with products, not customers, as our entity. We're going to be exporting the file, so we're going to select Export. And we're going to be dealing with the English Store. So now we're going to choose where the file is going to be headed. So we're going to choose a local remote file. We're going to make it a local file on our server, though you do have the option to export it to an FTP server. So I'm going to enter the desired file name. the file path that I want it to be saved in. And then I'm going to choose which data format I want it to be in. And I want to make it easy for myself, so I'm going to do it in MSXL, XML. So you also have the option to export in CSV. So I'm going to name the spreadsheet. Then I'm going to head down and map which fields I would like to appear in my spreadsheet. Now you have the option to export all of the attributes that are definable, or you can export only the mapped fields. Now since we're only dealing with price, we'll make it easy for ourselves and have the only fields that appear name, SKU number, and price. You can also change how the names appear in the headings for each attribute. So we're going to change it so it's a little nicer looking in the final document for our data entry people. And you have the option to apply some more export features. You can filter by name, SKU number, type of product, attribute set, price, stock quantity, visibility, and status. So once you've done all of that, you're going to want to head up and save your profile. Now the profile is successfully saved, so we're going to go back into it. And now you have the option to run the profile, edit the profile's actions XML for more advanced users, and access the profile history, which provides the action that was taken, when it was taken, and who took it. In this case, I've only created the profile so far, I haven't actually run it, which I'm about to do now. So once you're ready to actually export the file, you can run the profile within the window, or run it in a pop-up, and you'll see uh, progress for it exporting and whether it saves successfully. So now we're going to open our spreadsheet, and there we go. Now we can edit all of these prices if we want and re-import them and they'll change in the front end. Alright, in the next screencast we will show you how Magento's import feature works in the Magento import-export system. That's it for the Magento screencast. Thank you for joining us today and happy e-commerce.